Trey, kind of coming into year three, what's been your, your focus for yourself individually, just trying to improve? Um, really just coming out every day in practice, coming in the film room every day, just trying to learn something, um, pick up something every day, whether it's some small, small detail. Um, but really every year it's just going to be getting better in every aspect of the game. So. You guys kind of have a, a revamped safety room a little bit with Marcus Epps coming in from the Eagles. What's it been like kind of pulling from him and learning from him as a veteran in this Yeah, game? yeah, he's, he's a great teammate. Um, you know, we're just getting to learn each other, learning how each other plays. Um, but, you know, the time we've been having together has been been good. We've been bonding, been, uh, you know, working hard. So that's what we're going to keep doing. Trayvon, this time last year you were in your third defense in three years. Um, yeah. I imagine your head was spinning a little bit. Yeah. Is it slowed down a little bit? Uh, yeah, it definitely feels good, you know, to have the same staff and, um, you know, just, you know, the same camaraderie that we had last year. So, um, you know, that was big for me. You know, it helps me um, and it helps the rest of the team, you know, build build relationships and then play together, you know, faster. Between the transition to a new defense and then getting injured like you were, did you feel, did you ever feel like you were on stable ground uh, last year or was it? No, nah, no, nah, I really didn't. Um, you know, for me, it was just like, I, like I just said, just getting better. Whether it was recovery, um, just being there for the team, being there for whatever the coaches needed. Um, but no, I didn't. I didn't feel like that at all. Trayvon, the last day that you were available before you took your time off, you and I talked, and you mentioned you had to get better this this off season. What did you do? Um, man, just like I just said, just came in every day. You know, whatever the coaches asked me to do. Um, whatever the drills were, you know, I just focused on on the details, you know, try to be technically sound, um, you know, just try to practice my technique, just like, you know, every every other position, trying to get better every off season. Did you do a lot of film watching this off season? I, a couple of the other players have told me that they, the coaches have done a lot of analytical stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, over the years, like um, like I said, just. Like my my third year, just picking up more film, you know, just learning more concepts, just learning more football. So, being able to turn on that film and pinpoint some stuff that I didn't know last year or the year before, you know, was a big deal. So, definitely watching more film. Without getting too much into strategy, what were some things that you kind of found difficult about Patrick Graham's system last year that you felt a bit more comfortable doing now? Um, really, it's just being on the same page, you know, the communication aspect of it. Um, like I've, I've said it before, at the end of the day, it's all concepts, just learning different concepts, learning different, um, you know, coaching schemes, how they want it done. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is just communication. So They've talked a lot um, about wanting to create more turnovers. Mm -hmm. I know in college that's what's something that you were, you know, uh, known for and big on. Um, do you feel like being more confident in the, uh, in, the, in the scheme and in the system will allow you to be a little bit more confident in terms of taking chances and things like that? Yeah, definitely. I, I, like I said, I think each year has been like that. I've been feeling you know, better, more confident just with myself um, within the defensive scheme. So definitely um, trying to do that, you know, get, get our hands on the football. When you talk about the way last year went, never kind of feeling on unstable ground. How how did you deal with that mentally? Was, was it easy for you? Was it difficult? Was it was it a process to learn? I'm a pretty level headed guy, so I, I mean I just take it one step at a time at a time. So um, I approach it just with the same mindset as I do with everything else. Just you know take a step by step, or day by day, and try to get better, recover, um, and get back on the field as soon as possible. Trey, how would you say the early stages are in working with this newer group and the chemistry that you guys are building? Does it feel like there's a cohesion building with the defense? It's been fun. Um, just coming out every day with the guys, it's been fun. Um, you know, it's, it's business. It's, you know, we're coming here to work, but we're also finding time to, you know, make relationships, find, out, find time outside of football to, you know, like I said, build relationships, build bonds to, you know, when we step on that field, we're ready to go to war for our brothers. So it feels good. What are your thoughts on the Golden Knights and how the team is feeding off their energy? Right oh, it's now? dope. It's definitely, definitely dope. I went to the first game. Um, man, just the energy was crazy. Uh, they're doing their thing. So, you know, excited to keep watching them and uh, head, head to that championship, get that trophy. So, yeah. Have you been able to do anything this offseason with TCU or going home and connecting with those guys? Uh, not yet. Hopefully I get to go back, you know, during this little break that we get, go see some old players, some old coaches. Um, but yeah, I'd love to go back down to TCU and see my old stomping grounds. When you say going into your third year, is it, I mean, it's gone fast. by yeah, Shoot, exactly. man, it's gone by fast, real <laughs> fast. Like, yeah. yeah, I really, like, I, I tell people every time, like, I feel like I still just got here. You know, it's just coming in the building, it's still that new feeling of, you know, just something 
new, really, you know. Um, but yeah, like like you said, it's going by fast. I can't believe it for real. How nice will it be to have that cohesion with the teammates that even though you know, the defense kind of switches up, you got guys like Nate and Nick mm -hmm. and Max that you've been with for a while now. Yeah. You know, how did that cohesion also play into the place? Um, you know, just guys that work hard like that, you know, it just helps build a camaraderie. You know, you see guys working hard, um, playing fast, that makes you want to go harder for them. Um, so as long as we keep doing that, like I said, like you said, the cohesion will keep building and, you know, we'll play together fast and strong. So. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Trevor. Ryan, I was talking to one of your teammates over the weekend. He told me something from last week. I want to ask you about that. There was a big play, and he heard your voice. And he said, I know who he is. I, my teammate, he's my friend. But I hadn't heard him on a field being so vocal and putting people in the right spots. I'm curious, does that come with just maturity now? You've grown into your place? Is it something they've said to you, we need more of it? But he was bragging about, about how you've grown. Yes, sir. Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. Definitely comes with maturity. Um, a little more confident in my job, knowing what to do and everybody else's job. Also, that's something the coaches asked me to do is just step up and help lead out there on the field. Can you take, can you take us back to that play against Jacksonville you know, when the injury occurred? What was your thoughts that went through your mind? And what are the things that you've done to overcome that to now? Uh, that play, it was a sweep to the right. I got off a block, made the tackle. DP just came and hit me. Um, I didn't think my arm was broken. Um, X-ray came, and, and it turned out to be broken. Of course, I was down. I was sad. That was like two injuries in two years. Um, and I knew I was going to miss the rest of the season, but I saw it as an opportunity. I just studied the game. I worked harder. And this offseason, I stayed here the whole time and just, you know, in hopes that uh, it will work out on the field. You obviously look bigger. Um, you had a, a good weight. Um, was that just kind of the natural uh, maturation of you going into your third year, or did you feel like you needed to do something uh, to I, increase the power? I feel like I needed to do something. Um, I feel like uh, I needed to increase weight to keep up with the linemen, but not too much weight so I can also be uh, do my part in coverage as well. Do you feel like you found that balance? With where <laughs> yeah, you sir. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I might have got a little too heavy, but um, running out there on the field is going to help over time. Safety. How much has helped, that helps mold your game? Um, seeing the game from a different lens, you know, when you're playing safety, things are happening in front of you. When you're a second level backer, things are happening behind you. To be honest with you, it, it was very challenging. Um, like you said, at safety, everything is in front of you. You see everything. In the back, you kind of got to get a feel for the routes behind you. Um, I will say, over the years, I've gotten more comfortable with the concept, so we'll see where it goes. Divine, what was kind of the message today, just day one of mini camp? Josh McDaniel says, you know, all of us can do better, starting with him. What was kind of the day one message today? Uh, day one message is just focus, details, and um, energy. Run to the ball. Really the whole linebacker room outside of yourself, you know, you guys were hit up pretty badly by injury from Denzel to, to a few others. Um, how much do you think you could benefit just from having, you know, ideally greater stability with, between you and Spillane and Luke Mash and some of the guys being back up with you? Honestly, I think all the guys in the room are hungry and ready to work. Um, but like you said, Luke, Spill, um, Curtis, Darian, Kanai, all of them, Bernie, new guy, rookies, they're all coming to play. We all play with each other. There's no like one position. I play with five different linebackers today, so we all just coming to work. My coach said that you're wearing the green dot, so I'm curious how you feel about your progression in that role as well. Um, a lot more confident than I was last year. Last year, you know, I, I was, you know, a new kid on the block. I was nervous. It's my first uh, year in the system. So now I'm more comfortable. Um, I've been doing it for a while now. So, yeah, I'm ready. Speaking of rookies, um, what have you seen from Adam Plant Jr.? Um, I've been so focused uh, on this linebacker room. I'm going to be honest. I am not sure. Where are you? The green dots. Is it kind of like a badge of honor or something you thought about over the years that we're doing or not really? Is that something you um, honestly, it, it makes myself proud because uh, when I was younger, I played quarterback. So now being a green guy, it's like quarterback of the defense. So it uh, puts a smile on my face. Did you ever have that at Virginia Tech, the, the green dot or anything like that? Actually, no, I didn't. Um, well, we looked towards the sideline majority of the time, but the linebacker at Virginia Tech was calling the majority of the plays. What's that conversation like uh, when they come to you and talk to you about that possibility? And were you open to it from the, when they approached about it? Uh, they just called me up to the office and um, just suggested 
basically um, tell me to prepare for it. And to be completely honest with you, uh, they tell all the linebackers to prepare for it. So we just all have to be ready. How, um, have things slowed down this year, with, uh, year two in this in this particular system? Uh, personally, for me, yes, yes. Um, gained uh, from last year. Obviously, you look bigger um, in your upper body, but how much how much weight have you gained since last year? Uh, before we started OTAs, I went from 225 to 238. Now I'm at 234. Okay. So, let's see where it goes. When you said you know, you're still kind of figuring it out, is that something you want to go into training camp at the weight? Is that what OTAs and minicamps for to kind of figure out? What yes, sir, that is the plan. Um, I, I'm out here at 234 right now. I want to see where I'm comfortable. As I want to be able to run as long as I can. I also want to be able to take on these linemen. So, yeah. Perfect. Uh, on the field wise, I just studied all the great linebackers out there. Fred Warner, DP, Nizel Perryman, that was here last year. Um, Leonard from the Colts, just a lot of guys. Um, studied them on the field. Off the field, I just focused on recovery. I didn't do a great job of that. Um, I've had a few injuries and I really focused on not being hurt anymore. When the alums were here, did you get the opportunity to speak with like one of the greats like Phil Villapiano and what was the message there? Pers I didn't get to speak with him, but I I, I, I was a big fan of Art Show. Um, my girlfriend's grandfather was great friends with him actually, so uh, I had to meet with him. Um, it was nice, I, I, I enjoyed the event, so I'm glad we get to do that. It motivated me to do even more, so I appreciate it. They bring in Robert Spillane, and I'm just curious. I know there hasn't been pads. I'm not referring to that. But just getting to know him, talking to some Steelers in the locker room, what they thought of him. What do, What are your initial impressions of him? I love Spill. He comes to work every day. Um, even when they take us off the field, he's like, nah, Diablo, let's go get some more. So Spill is an amazing guy, and I know he's going to help me get better. So playing at 234 right now, do you think that's a comfortable way where you're not compromising speed because you're getting so good? Yes, sir. Uh, between 230 and 235 is my ideal range. When you go in that as a, as a goal, um, what's the process of being able to put on good weight, not bad weight? Uh, was there some hit and miss with that at all? Or it, the, the miss was when I was 238 in the off season. Um, I was running around. I was, it was too heavy. I felt myself tiring out pretty fast, so I lost a little bit, lost a little muscle. muscle and um, Right now, I feel pretty good, and that's just, I'm going to just keep seeing where this goes. Where, where do you think is the biggest need for improvement on defense, or what's what's the quickest path for you guys to improve? Quickest path? Uh, like the number one goals uh, I said today is just effort to the ball all the time. Um, energy is a big part of it. And really, I, I just think the ball is the most important thing on the field, so turnovers. You know? Have you guys been emphasizing that more, given kind of where you ranked last year yes, in the department? Yes, sir. Good. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, guys. Andre, one of your teammates mentioned about playing with Carmen. You know, a lot of a lot of players play for a coach, but that's a different relationship. He kind of has. He's part of you guys' group. Can you talk about his relationship with the offensive line? What is it about him that you guys have coalesced so well? Yeah, since, you know, the first day Carms came in, he's just demanded, you know, uh, perfection. And uh, you, you really don't want anything else from a coach, especially offensive line coach, with uh, consistency it requires to play offensive line. So since day one, you know, he's came in, he's pushed our group, uh, you know, to the – to do better in everything we do, and you know we really respect that. You, like I said, you want a guy like that, and uh, just a good guy you you want to have in your room. And guys respect him. You know he's a great leader, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been great having him. Andre, I know uh, Jimmy hasn't been able to get out on the field, but saw some videos of you guys uh, hanging out, and uh, it seems like uh, that's that's a big part of what you guys are trying to do: get to know each other. How's that process uh, gone? Getting to know Jimmy. You know Jimmy's a great guy. You know uh, we went and. Uh, we went and uh, watched the Knights win uh, the first game here, and uh, it, it was pretty fun. Just uh, you know, have some uh, some fun with uh, just the offensive line. A lot of guys, you know, came out and uh, good, good win, good win for the Knights. But uh, it was even better just being around the guys, building that chemistry, being around uh, Jimmy, you know, outside of the facility. So we were super excited to have him and get to play with him. It's a unique relationship, quarterback and center. Um, yeah, how has that? 
not being able to get on the field, obviously, but being able to develop some some sort of a relationship so that when you hit the field together, it'll be seamless. Yeah, no doubt. I think, me personally, I think that relationship you have outside of the building, outside of the football field, is just as important, especially from center to quarterback, center to offensive line. That that chemistry, you know, that trust, you you build that outside of the field outside of the facility more than just as much as you do on that field so to so to go out there and have fun with him you know spend some time with him get to know him better and it, it was awesome it was, it was a great time Any surprises about his personality at all that you, you know everything you know everything that that i heard when he signed was was positive and he, that, that was a good sign so everyone that i heard from him was like he's a great guy he's a great leader that i've seen nothing nothing less Today, Coach McDaniels was talking about the offensive line. He said improvement doesn't always necessarily mean acquisition. So, how much confidence that do you have in you know the coaching staff and the team that they were able to kind of keep the offensive line the same and bring them back a lot of guys and move forward with that? You know, it, it gives us a lot of confidence. You know, uh, a lot of places. I mean, I've been around. It's we've never kept this many guys around, so it, it gives us a lot of confidence. It's, it's excited because you're familiar with the guys you're working next to, and that's super important next to the offense line. Being able to gel and be able to work with guys you're, you know, you're familiar working with, being able to communicate with. So it's awesome. There was a loss last year when Brandon obviously went down early, and he stuck around. They kept him around. They wanted him around. What is it about Brandon that you think they believe in, and how good is it to be able to have him back working out with you? Brandon's a great player. You know, he's been – he's one of the few guys that has been here for six years. You know, maybe him, Colton, and a handful of other guys. It's not very many. But first of all, he's, he's a great person. Um, he, he's a family man. He he has a he has an awesome family, beautiful kids. Uh, he, he's a good guy to be around, you know what I mean, uh, in that room every day. He's, uh, but he's also a great worker. He he knows what to do. He, he knows how to play the position very well. And uh, that's the kind of guys you want in your room. Like that, those are the guys you want to play with. Is these guys like Brandon Parker? You mentioned the, the continuity you guys have on the line this year. Does that kind of help you guys come in on a different level this year? You come in kind of maybe more confident, more like excited about the possibilities. Yeah, I think anytime you're coming in to your second year, being in, uh, returning into a system you weren't familiar with that first year, there's definitely there's definitely a bigger step to take. There's definitely a, a familiar a familiarity. Sorry, there's, there's definitely a, a familiar. Uh, sense in in what you what you can do uh, moving forward. So it's nice uh, not just learning the place for the first time, but being able to return, having some memory. Andre, you guys are pretty dominant in the run game all season last year, but the past pro kind of had some some ups and downs at times. How have you guys worked this off season to kind of take take things to another level and become a more complete unit overall? Yeah, I think that just goes into one of our sayings around here: is just stay inside out and and understanding you know where your help is and. Uh, understanding the the protection itself, and uh, we've we've taken a lot of that into uh, this mini camp, into OTAs, and as a whole, and just you know understanding that more, and just continuing to grow on what we what we built. So last year is last year, but the offensive line, uh, you guys kind of had to piece it together. Um, it was a little process mm -hmm. to figure it all out, and, and and maybe some people were looking at it as a little bit of a liability going into the season. But by the end of the season, it was. One of the strengths of this team, looking back on that, I know last year's last year, but how much pride do you guys take in really turning the corner and becoming a, a, a unit that could be relied on? Uh, I think it's super important to us. Uh, we were able to run the ball pretty well. You know that uh, that's not just offensive line; that, that goes on everyone. That's Josh. That's the tight ends. That's wide receivers, and that's quarterback making those type of run checks. And um, as an offensive line, you want to hang your hat on being able to run the ball. That's like. Your, your main thing. You want to be able to run the ball because that helps setting up pass protection. That, has, that sets up play action. That sets up everything else to us. So to be able to run the ball, we just want to continue to work on that and just keep growing. They bring in Greg, who has been very stable and has played consistent. I'm just curious. I know there hasn't been pads, but just his presence, getting to know him. Can you talk about him a little bit, please? Yeah, uh, Greg's a total vet. He's came in and He's learning the system really quick. He's he's helping out with the young guys, and you know that's that's, that's great to have a guy like that in here. He's a great person, and uh, we're super excited to have him around. You obviously came in to the team as an undrafted guy, switched from guard to center. How surreal is it going into your fifth season, going from where you were to now being like a legit veteran of this team and the leader of this team? Man, it's great. Um, I like some of these days I walk into this building, and it's still like super surreal to me that I'm I'm here and I'm I'm still doing this. So it's amazing, man. Um, just try to come in every day, just trying to get, trying to get better. 
uh, that's all I can do. You know, not worry about the outside noise or what, what people are writing about, what people are saying. So just continue to work. And, you know, that's been my mindset since day one. It's going to continue to be. Andre, obviously, JJ is not here. But can you talk about the running backs who are here and what they bring to the table and how that's going to provide continuity for the season moving forward? Yeah, obviously, JJ isn't here. He's, you know, he's done with that or whatever. But uh, whoever's running that ball, we have trust in. It's, it's a great room that they got there. Um, you know, uh, Brandon's been in there. He's been in this system for a super long time. So he's been helped co- coaching up those younger guys who, who, who haven't been in the system or who aren't quite as familiar. So it's awesome having a guy like, like him in there, you know, coaching up in a familiar system that he's been in. You just talked about the, the outside noise. And I know last year there was a lot of talk like you guys were ignoring it. You didn't pay attention to what people were saying. But I know you guys were driven by a lot of those words. Like, Do you have to find a new kind of chip on the shoulder now that people are like, yeah, they're, they're, they're not that bad. They're pretty good. You know what? It, it was never one of those things where it was like a chip. It's, it's always, for me at least, it's always been all my motivation has been self-motivation. You know what I mean? So everything that I've always wanted to do, it's, it's been internally pushed by myself. So, With all the experience and success you've had with Josh, you know, if he's not here until training camp or whatever, I'm sure there's no worry that he'll pick up wherever he left off. Is that is that fair to assume? Oh, yeah, that's definitely the case. He's he's a smart guy. He's he's a workhorse. He's a workhorse. He's going to he's going to come in and do what he needs to do, no matter if he has if, if he's been here or hasn't been here. You know, our, our trust in him is 100 percent. So you had a chance to watch film with uh, Jimmy yet? Uh, not not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. Um, with the little bit that you have, um, you know, obviously he played, you know, for Josh a while ago, and mm-hmm. you most recently played with Josh in this system. Is, is there teaching going back and forth? You guys just you just talk about what you know. What we you see there. Or? Yeah, we meet as a as a, as a whole offense quite a bit, and uh, it's it's great to do that because it, it gives commu- you're able to communicate as a whole because that's kind of like how it is when you're out there. So so we'll go and make calls in the room, and you know, so he, we can kind of hear each other. But, um, but, yeah, I'm super excited to have him out there. I'm sure he'll be back out whenever his time's ready. But, uh, yeah. Do you uh, see yourself as a vet now? Does that change your approach in the locker room at all? Yeah, I, I'm trying to <laughs> – it's, it's, de- it's definitely different. You know what I mean? Uh, it, uh, it's something that, like, still hasn't hit me. Like, every day, like, it's, it's still super surreal for me to walk in this building. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm still here. Like, I'm still doing this. So, I, like I said, I'm still trying to take that same mindset, but I'm also trying to – Trying to trying to become a leader and somewhat uh, you know kind of motivate the younger guys, trying to lead them in the right direction, and so that that has been kind of a new step for me, you know, coming into my fifth year. So, all right, thanks, guys. All right thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.